Today's video is a bit different. Well, real life happens and I'm currently battling a nasty cold and a very painful and was gigantic sty. And I thought, why not turn the less than ideal situation into an opportunity to share with you winter skincare tips. Some of us do live in these cold climates and some of us really struggle with the winter skin. And I've got some tips and solutions that will help you. And some pictures of a big sty. Hello lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel Hey Spring Chicken. My name is Cordelia and if you're a returning visitor, I'm so pleased to have you back. And if you're new here, welcome. Today's topic is mature winter skincare. Today's topic was supposed to be virtual gathering, meeting your family over the Christmas on Zoom with your winter jumper, just looking good. And it was going to be a joyous Christmas affair. But as I said, real life got in the way and a sty and a cold meant I did not look good. Didn't, not just didn't look good on camera, I didn't look good anywhere. Let's turn that situation into something that we can work with because it then shows you that I'm not just a YouTube creator, I'm out there, I'm in the trenches with you. Let me just say at this point, I appreciate that not everyone in the world has these cold climates that we have here in the Northern Hemisphere. And if you are like us, then we don't just have to suffer with the blustery weather out there, the cold, the damp and the rain. We also struggle with inside. We have central heating, we have dry air, and it isn't just our face it is actually our whole body that suffers in the winter first of all we'll start with the face but we're not just going to focus on that we're going to look at how we can help the rest of our body get through this winter period and come out the other side I struggle with and have done every single winter with central heating. It seems to me, as soon as the heating comes on, I struggle with eczema or with just really dry skin. But I have noticed a big change since the hydration of my skin. What I recommend is perhaps not being so excessive with exfoliation, with the cleansing and with the face masks. We just have to dial it down a little. It is still has to be done. So my advice is this, gently cleanse the face. I use a balm now, I use a cleansing balm. All of the products that I use, I will add in all of the links below. This is not about products, this is about caring for your skin. I would advise a gentle balm for your skin, then to exfoliate once or twice a week. I don't actually exfoliate very much anymore, I use a muslin cloth. And then serum, hydration. This is what you need to pump into your skin. I have done lots of videos about hydrating your skin and this for me is key. Hydrate your skin. Let's talk about this thing that I have on my eye. No amount of hydration, no amount of anything was going to get rid of this. I was run down, I had a cold, and this is what happened. I will add the timeline and the chapters so that for those of you that don't wish to see, or those of you that wish to replay, the close-ups of my sty when it was at its worst, you can skip by that. I'll show you a bit of B-roll at its worst. It really was excruciating. I've never had a sty this big before. It was painful. I have a sty and it is so... I've got a throat. I'm just in a, I'm a mess. Look at this. I hope it burst. So it did burst last night. And you think I'd feel better, but it didn't. So it came out, some stuff came out. And then it filled up again and closed. And I'm just feeling shite. I update it's so much better today it still looks a bit scary but honestly it's so much less painful I still I still look like shit I maybe just don't feel it in addition to the cleansing I will also add live products now they will be additional things like vitamin A vitamin C collagen ceramide these are all added into my skin I have done videos about that but this really helps support the 
infrastructure of your skin. In addition to that, I do add vitamin tablets. So whether they make a difference, I don't know, but I feel as though they do. And I have been having additional multivitamins and I feel that works for the whole body, for the face, for my skincare. So winter skin for me is gentle and hydration. Body care. It's very easy to go into the shower, quickly wash, come out because it's cold, we just want to get into our dressing gown or we just want to get ready for work and go. But honestly, at this time of the year, your skin, it is really dehydrated. You need to still exfoliate that skin, look after it, just a gentle exfoliation. I use a body brush I got from LMS and I love the way it zings my skin. And then I put on just a good body cream. I use all sorts, but the one I'm currently using, I actually filmed this a few weeks ago. This is Garnier Body Superfood for very dry skin. It is cocoa and ceramide. I'm a big lover of ceramide. So this is really reasonable, so you can lather it on, and it takes about five minutes to absorb into the body. Honestly, do it. You won't regret it. For those of you that suffer with eczema, you may find this a little bit too rich. Butter can sometimes aggravate the skin. So what I would suggest, sometimes in the winter I get eczema behind my knees, I would just use the Avena moisturising cream. Something like that. Using this will lock in the moisture. And if you do this every single night, you will really notice the difference. Segment three is going to be hands and feet care. I moisturise my hands a lot. I have recently found these mitts that you put on and they really moisturise my hands. We take them for granted. Yes, we might moisturise them. I moisturise mine quite regularly, but in this weather, my goodness, they dry out. They can get wrinkly when they get wet. So it is really important that you take care because they aid you. Sometimes you can take the best care of your face. You look at your hands and you think, not good. Same with your feet. Now, I'm not going to show you my feet, but they equally are dry and I don't look after them the way I should. But try to. Try moisturise them. I said I wasn't going to talk about Korean products, but I'm sorry I am. And I recently found this remarkable product from Korea. It's called an Essence Hand Pack. I used it last night. In fact, I've used it two nights. And you put these mitts on. It's packed full of moisturizer. And you leave them on for 20 minutes. Honestly, it's remarkable. I think these were like two pounds. So I'll, I'll add a link below. I got mine from Starvana. They are really worth it. So look after your hands and feet. Another reason why I excessively moisturize my hands in the winter is because I suffer, as do a lot of you, with cracking skin around the thumb, around the joints, and it is very painful. So moisturizing them, keeping them like they are in the summer, that's why we do it. And that's why it's worth that little extra time in the winter. Let's look at lips, sunscreen and clothing in the winter. I think all of us know the problems with cold and hot weather, but it is important to put the lip balm on. But did you know it was just as important to exfoliate your lips? I'll use an ordinary lip balm during the day, but I have found a really good sleep mask for my lips at night. Let me show it to you. So it looks like that and it's Laneige sleep mask. Comes from Korea. <laughs> you put this on and it's wonderful, nice plump lips. But yes, I find for me personally that I don't just get cracked lips there, I get them cracking right down the sides. Again, it's quite painful. And as we age, we find that our lips really dehydrate and we're unable to moisturize them in the way we did when we were in our 20s or 30s or even in our 40s. So it is worth using a lip balm every day. Next one is the sunscreen. You have been told many times how important sunscreen is, even in the winter. Uh, granted, we don't get the UVA or UVB rays that we do in the summer, but we do nevertheless get these rays onto our skin and they can be damaging. The sunscreen that I'm using at the moment is birch cream. It is from Korea and it is absolutely brilliant 
I actually saw this on TikTok about six months ago and I didn't purchase it until about six weeks ago and it is really very good indeed. It says SPF 50 but it is actually a moisturiser as well so you can use it just as a moisturiser and as a sun cream and it genuinely works because often you can find that if you needed a moisturiser with sun cream you'd have to put so much on you'd be lathered up but this works. It's really very good. So the sunscreen you need lip moisturizer and I want to just talk about humidity or humidification I think is the word one of the things I do when I come out from outside I love coming into the central heated house however I found over the last few years because I'm a person that suffers with chest conditions and coughing and all sorts of things that the drying in the house would not just dry out my skin but would dry me out I had a permanent night time cough. One of the best presents that was ever bought for me was a humidifier. It was a game changer for me for my nighttime sleep. The, I promise you the coughing stopped. I thought I was going to live with this cough for the rest of my life. It didn't. So when we switch on the central heating, on comes my humidifier. It's brilliant. So if you have access to humidifiers or if you find that the air is drying in your house, in your lounge, in your bedroom, buy one. You will notice the difference, I promise you. And finally, diet, hydration and professional advice. I think these are all, without teaching you to suck eggs, I think you know how important hydration is. But more so in the winter because you don't necessarily get that feeling of thirst that you do in the summer, but you are dehydrating. So even when you don't want to drink, and I'm talking to you mother, even when you don't want to drink, drink. Good foods, not just stodge foods, which is what we want, which is what I like, these comfort foods. No, try and have those good omega rich fatty foods. And finally, these are what I would recommend for my skin, for my body, but I am not an expert, so if you do have any concerns, do not hesitate to seek professional advice, particularly from your dermatologist. So there we are, looking after your skin in the winter and hopefully helped you with some ideas for getting through the cold, blustery months. Even if you just do two out of these five things, you will notice a difference. But I'm really rather hoping that you can incorporate these into your everyday life really easily. If you like this video, press the like button. And I want to add at this point, if you've made it this far, thank you. Ding the bell. Dinging the bell will alert you to content that we're uploading like this every single week. And leave me a comment. I love hearing and reading your comments. And subscribe. Subscribing lets the algorithm know that I'm doing something right for you guys. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day, evening, week or month, wherever you are in the world. And I will see you soon. Thank you. Why not turn a less than real... My phone's ringing. Somebody's ringing my phone. I'm not going to show you my feet because my feet are horrible. Now I... Things are doing the trick. I still, I still look like shit and maybe just don't feel it. And if you like this video, then prick the, prick the like button. No. So